Let's set it up and put it on top of the foundation. My students were given the challenge to design a shelter, a micro shelter, anything up to four by eight by eight. It started out as like a, just a little research project and then it turned into us making a model of a tiny um, shelter. We have used Students in Action, which is a partnership that we have. Um, they gave us a framework. It actually started with our civics class in the ninth grade. They researched homelessness. They presented it, the problem to the eighth graders and they challenged them to design a micro shelter. Dr. Royster actually suggested a partnership with Donaldson Center so that we could actually see it come to life. <laughs> Mr. Peterson very, very graciously agreed to help us take this project on with his classes and has graciously allowed my kids to come and watch and participate in however they can. I've enjoyed um, being hands-on and building. I think it's important because we see homeless people every day, but we really just overlook them. We don't really understand what they go through and understand that they don't have a place to sleep at night. And we do, so it's good to, you know, give back. It just makes us feel good because we're actually getting a chance to help. And, like, it makes us feel good that people are willing to donate stuff like flooring and, um, like, mats to make it feel more of a comfy home place. Yeah, that's been really cool to work with other people and meet new people. Whenever I heard about it, I was actually really excited because I've always wanted to do something for the homeless because I felt bad because, like, it's not really their fault. And I've always like kind of thought about like not being able to do stuff and then helping other people is always cool and it's fun, it brings you joy. To see it actually come to life and know that there is a purpose to what they are doing with the reading and the writing and all the things that we did to come up to this point. To see it come to life is amazing.